Oh crap, we're live. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, hey, Speed, Mark, how you guys doing? Anybody else that may be out there? Uh, I think I'm almost ready to go today, early. Of course, we'll wait till more people pop in, but... Or less. I can sit here by myself and talk. I do it every Wednesday night. Yeah, I could do this, I guess. Tis begin. Oh, it's a cute setup, Orbit. Whoop. Someday I'll figure out how to pin that. And not so smart sometimes. Yeah, Joe kind of had me worried because... <clears throat> we didn't have any thing ready for the upcoming shows, and then all of a sudden today, boom, we had like a hundred of them. It's like, damn, don't scar me like that. But it worked out. So I don't know if I like that better, or then it's got all that room over there. I don't know. I figured this out. So how is everybody's week going there's a clash PC yeah I don't do ties pretty much muscle shirts t-shirts shorts all year round I'm going for this painkiller to kick in but damn it's what I'm not wanting to whew I could take another one and probably pass out here in an hour or two. No. So we're up to five. Um, going to have the best assist questions today. They're all going to be about Jeebus. We're going to learn about Jesus today through... this whole wonderful experience. I'm going to lead you to Jesus, but we have to pray first. Earl, do you want to lead us in prayer? <laughs> I think I'd break out in hives if, if I actually had to do that. Hey, Beck, how you doing? Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. No, no. Oh. Did I get started earlier than I normally do, or is everybody just gallivanting around, or is somebody streaming I didn't know about? Hey, Spooky. Yes, Earl, we need you to say if thy grace is. Dominus, ominous, we need Jesus. Oh, we got Carrie. Carrie Ann. I'd say she could be our, our sister... Or Mother Teresa, but she's too, she's nicer than Mother Teresa ever was. That bitch, that big old bitch. Well, no, you can't listen to music. It's either or. We need commitment, Carrie Ann. We can't win this war without commitment. I don't know which war we're talking about today, but I'm sure there's one somewhere. I should just clean my screen off. Esau. Dirty. So, so dirty. Ete. Oh, we got JJ. Oh, we are graced by JJ today. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think if there's any announcements. Oh, somebody had, he put on like uh, a million peoples. Oh, oh, well, I gotcha. So we got more people. That are members. I think somebody went nuts gifting them or something. I cannot remember, so don't quote me. Um, yes, me too. I don't. I, I last time I was committed, I finally broke out over the wall, but they found me. That damn donut weakness. 
Okay. I'm trying to think. I think there's no. I guess what I'm going to do. Hold on. Let me get the calendar out. And I can tell you who's coming up real quick. And by then, gives us a few more sex. Seconds, not sexes. This is, this is. Oh, come on. Why are you taking so low, long to load? Here we go. <clears throat> So, no Beck's coming up. Come on, open up, you dirty little whore. Come on, make me your daddy. Oh my gosh, you're making me wait to be your daddy. So, today, here we go. So, for this month, we've got Beck on the 7th. We've got uh, J.L. Warren from Bridge to the uh, Bridge to the Divide. Well, this is going to be a real good night for me to be talking, I can see. Um, the 14th, uh, one of Joe's buddies, Stephen Sailors. Uh, the 21st, we'll have BF Doofus, the 28th. And then we get into May with Michael Bell. I know he's coming on. I don't know if anybody knows. I think he told people maybe. Uh, but we have uh, R and Raw coming on the 19th, I believe. And that's pretty much that. It. Do. Is. Do. That. Here we go. Okay, now I'm back to normal, right? Here we go. Here we go. Let me see. If I miss anybody, then we'll get started. Screw it, because I'm winning tonight. I know the answer is I win. Oh, wait, speed's here, too, though, so that causes the problem. Okay, back. PC, spooky. PC, JJ. Okay, I think I've said hi to everybody if I haven't. Hey, but <clears throat> this one I don't get. It's everybody that. What is the first month comprised of 30 days? What is the first month comprised of? 30 days. And I'm guessing. Uh oh. We're Mission Impossible, Carrie Ann. June is a little bit too late. Let's see, March. What was the answer? Oh, no, 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 no. April is the correct answer. So we have Spooky that I saw pop up, then Beck with april then we got joe that worked can somebody remove joe out of here um <laughs> how you doing joe how's everything going um whoopsie april hey joe okay yes everybody give joe love he's had a rough few weeks And now I'm trying to decide if I want to try to pronounce this, which is always fun. So we're going to do that. This is, I guess, that's why I got hired to do this job for such the big bucks. So I'm going to wait a second. Let me go ahead and cut and paste it because I'm going to have to put it in the chat because I'm going to biff it. Um, give you a head start, paste, doom, to boom, to boom. Okay, here's the question. If you had pogonophobia, what would you be afraid of? Pogo sticks would be my guess. If you had pogonophobia, what would you be afraid of? And I just forgot. Oh, okay. Wieners. <laughs> Joe, we know you ain't afraid of no wieners. You might be afraid of ghosts, but no wieners. The correct answer is beards. Mark Caesar Poconos. Yeah, that's it. Speed. Uh, wieners. Looks like Joe's on the prowl for a date. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not doing that one. Um, what four colors traditionally correspond with first through fourth placed ribbons? What color for each place of those ribbons is basically what they're asking. 
what four colors traditionally corresponded with first through fourth place ribbons? I Google fastest. Yay. I was thinking pogs, pogs. Do they still have those or is that a thing of the past? Okay. Blue. I think I got all of them except the last one. Blue, red, white. And let's let me verify the last one. Oh, wait a second. Gosh, you keep bouncing. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to read the, what this says, and then I'm going to go back. It's blue, red, white, and yellow is the correct colors. I believe even in the order. It kept moving, so I couldn't tell who said what. Blue. Carry in. Is that correct? Blue, red, yellow. Yep. According to mine, Carrie Ann kept, could go at it first. Joe blew it because he had green. So did JJ had the green. Blue, yellow, green. Hell, I don't know. It's, he got it. He don't know, but he got it. It all depends. Didn't hear that right. Winning ribbon colors. Okay. Three out of four. If you're a baseball hitter, you'd be an all star. Oh, wait. Let me put this here. Uh, uh. Uh, let me see this one. Oh, from Z language, do these, from which language do these tennis terms love and deuce or? originate from what language do the tennis terms love and deuce originate do, 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 do. i've never made fourth place yeah. i finished fourth out of four or out of three people before does that count wait 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 you guys are so fast French. Spooky got French. No English. Speed got French. Kentucky got French. PC, of course. Baton Rouge. The PC. She got that Cajun going on down there. That French. Karen. JJ. I don't think dang is a, a language, but we'll give it to you. French, I think, and I was a tennis player, but I don't know. Yes, French. We'll go with the French. According to the to, to big words. What two animals are the symbols of the U.S. Democrats and Republicans? Oh, this should be really a hard one for everybody to figure out. I guarantee. I guarantee you that shit. Uh-huh. The donkey and the elephant. Beck. Ringo and Snake. Ass, elephant, elephant, jackass, donkeys and elephants. I mean, donkeys and elephants, lions and pigs and lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Yes, you all know which one's which. Oh, I thought they are fighting. Punch me in the face. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to hockey and this at the same time. Not really. Um, we're not doing that one. Uh, what? <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't know this one, and uh, yeah, I'm not even sure if I ever had it. I don't, I've never used it. I'm sure I've had it, but how many spices make up all spice? How many spices make up all spice? And I would have never guessed this in a million years. Oh, fuck. They should use viruses more. Four, four, five, all of them, plus some. Three. JJ has got the correct answer with one, and Joe with one. Uh, the correct answer is one spice for all spice. And I don't even know what all spice is, but obviously it's a one spice that's for everything. That's why I said I'd have never guessed this one. What U.S. state borders only one other? What U.S. state borders only one other? Uh, 
Oh, Allspice is a planet. I did not know. I thought Alaska at first myself, but then I got to thinking that's not, it doesn't touch anything. It touches Canadian land before it does U.S. land. There's only one state in the whole that we've got that only touches one other country or one other state. And I think we're going to go with speed. Uh, no, JJ had it up here. Maine. Sorry. Maine. Kentucky got Maine. We're giving it to speed with Maine. Vietnam is right there, right real close to Maine. So we're going to do Vietnam um, because we love the smell of napalm in the morning. And I think Michigan actually, I mean, it touches Indiana, obviously, but I think it's Ohio it touches. I don't think it quite gets to like Chicago area, but it does touch somewhere else. And I think it's Ohio where the hinge is. Back in the NOM. Oh, prosciutto is derived from the meat of what? animal. This is my Italiano. I knew this before I ever, yeah. Prosciutto is derived from the meat of what animal? Pig is the correct answer. And what's weird is a lot of uh, Italians eat it. And there's some Italians out there that are Jewish and still eat the prosciutto. And they eat it. The, the, the oinker. Yeah, Mark, the, the oinker. Yeah, pig is. What if I was a question now? Prosciutto is derived from the meat of one animal. The correct answer is the pig, the oinker, but not the pig skin. Oh, here we go. We're going back to the 80s. Chicka bow, chicka bow, bow, bow. What 1960s invention was originally called the pleasure pit? What sounds like a the deluxe version of a toilet. What 1960s invention was originally called the pleasure pit? The penguin, main Baxter, shh, don't tell. Thanks, Crystal. The vibrating massager, only a Kentuckian. Hot top. There we go. Speed with the waterbed. Just making sure nobody else got it. But waterbed is the correct not the ball pit, the pleasure pit. And if this was Plunkster's stream, we'd be going to Adam and Eve ad or advertisement right about now, but screw that. That's too much work. But if you think think and really like to, to be to, to do this for Joe, because don't forget hit the like to subscribe and the share button. And if you want, and we have, we strongly encourage this and make all checks payable to Asshole 64 Incorporated, if you want to be a channel member or a Patreon member. I remember to do that tonight. I am so special. So Beth, y'all. So Beth, y'all. M-M, M-M, M-M. Oh, they were. I, I don't. And I used to work with where we had a lot of sharp screwdrivers, pencils, pens, we just throw in our back pockets. And if you just plop in bed, I don't know how many times I was in the middle of the night fixing a friggin' hole that I caused because I couldn't, or I didn't take shit out of my pockets because the water bed. And now I, I wouldn't have one if I, they were given to me. Yeah. Plus I'm probably get seasick and I don't like sharing semen with my bed. There's a joke in there somewhere, I'm sure, but we're not sure where. And then we got MM here to cause the twobbles. The okay, how about that could be Bungholio? Who sleeps with clothes on? What are clothes? I don't hardly walk around in the house. No, I do. I can't even say that jokingly. All right. 
gotta get back into my serious mode. Oh, then we got all the some more bunch of zodiacs coming up. Well, three it looks like. But before we get to them, what was the first sport to be televised in the U.S.? This is gonna be a hard one. What was the first sport to be televised in the U.S.? Soccer is not the correct answer, just so you know. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to see what's from here down. <laughs> okay, we've got okay. Football is not the correct answer. Football, football. Okay, we've got Carrie Ann, Beck, Joe, Cricket. Yes, and we must have went to watch cricket on our way back from Vietnam. That's what it was, Spooky. Tennis was not it. Ta -da -da. De -de 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 -de. Okay, dokie. The first of three Zodiac questions, and I wasn't going to ask them, but what the hell? What is the sixth sign of the, the Zodiac? And I'm still trying to find out what the first one was, because I don't know. What is the sixth sign of the Zodiac? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Extreme bowling. That's what it is. Tetherball. You funny. Got to be funny to be an asshole. I get beat up a lot. Oh, wait. I've seen it somewhere. Yeah, okay. It's not. Virgo is the correct answer. A knick knack, patty whack. Speed is not getting my bone. No, 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 no. Okay, that's the first one. Here's the second Zodiac one. What is the second sign of the Zodiac? And as a hint, I think this answer is bull. I'm trying to remember that, but I can't remember. I can't count to two. That's the problem. Okay, we'll do this one again. What is the second sign of the zodiac? I'm not giving the hint again. Okay. Oh, here we go. I see. see, see B, B, C, B, 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 B. Okay, it is spooky. Spooky or Taurus? Taurus. The bully is the correct answer. Jimmy the Tux graces us. All hail the bow tie. Okay, and I, this is the last one for a minute. This is going to be really, really hard, too. You might have to think about this. What is the symbol of the zodiac sign Leo? That is real brain tweezers. They're all saying that the touch is more important than the poor Leo. Where did Leo? I go back, make sure. Okay, lion. Much. Everybody's got lion. Screw it. Y'all win. Let's see who got first, though. Uh, Beck. We got Beck with the lion. We've got Carrie Ann, Spooky, PC, Mary. Mary. Sorry, <laughs> Mark Caesar. Uh, and JJ wants to say a lion, but since he did not say a lion, he didn't get it right. A duck's spiral penis. Um, a peen. To, no, we don't do the tap hours. Tap yars, whatever. Hung like hoes. Um, you're a bunch of perverts. That's all I got to say. Keep this up. I'm gonna take your your um. Wait. Uh oh, you just blew Beck's brain. Blew mine too, but. What? Oh, the 13th sign in the Zodiac. I didn't know there was a 13th. There's probably millions of them. I guess it can't just be 12. That's got to be like an American Chinese thing, like fortune cookie. Okay, Lion got it. Um, let us see. Wow. This could turn into a dumpster fire on this one, but we're going to do it. What does a ventriloquist typically hold on their lap? What does a ventriloquist typically hold on their lap? You're like, Jeff, dun um, da, da. <laughs> A 
Okay, wait. Okay, I learned something else today. It's a big ass. Wait, where, where'd it go? It's like it's a big ass constellation straddling the celestial equator. Now we know what that big word is. Was that our lesson for the day of waitress? Waitress. Okay. Let me go back to this. A waitress. <laughs> oh God. You guys are bad. I'm Woody. Yes, we'll, we'll just give you that one. It's a puppy, you pervs. <clears throat> what is the first day of Lent cost called? God. I, what is the first day of Lent called? I guess it's Lent, not Lent. That'd be in your, in your dryer, I guess. First day of Lent. WLC, William Led Craig. That's pretty much puppets. Ash Wednesday is correct by Jimmy the Tux. <laughs> and Spooky, while they're watching cricket coming back from Vietnam, um, decided to stop and celebrate some Lent miss. You're trying to take Jesus out of it, Spooky. Oh, yes. Ash Wednesday is the correct answer. Mark David Chapman became famous for what in 1980? Mark David Chapman became famous for what in 1980? Let's see. Blowjobs is not the correct. I don't believe the person that was involved on the other end of what he did. I think they would have probably preferred one, to be honest. Yes, shooting John Lennon is the correct answer. Spooky for the win. Oh, my Rangers fellow. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> I should know this. John Lennon killer. Oh, they're back in it. Okay. Oh. I ain't doing that one. Okay. Here we go. Easy one. Softball. Question for a baseball person. Which baseball player was nicknamed the Bambino? What baseball player was nicknamed the Bambino? Roof is the correct answer. We got Joe with just roof. We got speed with babe roof. Then we're going to carry in with, hey, babe, carry in. I, I, I told you, don't don't say that in open chat. Well, just text me that. I'll, I'll get back to you, girl. It's kind of embarrassing. You can't tell the host, hey, babe, how you doing? Babe Ruth is the correct answer. And somehow they sneak freaking religious questions in here. We're going to take the challenge. This is an easy one. What Hebrew word means so be it. What Hebrew word means so be it? Shmexe. I'm a Shmexican. The colossal of clout. Raymond. Raman. Yes, is the correct answer. We have JJ. Let's make sure I don't miss anybody. JJ, the spooky, the mark. We got the yada. Jimmy Detux, we got back with fuck it, and I'll take that as a man any day. Just go ahead. <laughs> Just go ahead without me. Yeah, that's it. That's what it means. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. What country's national flower is the waddle? What body? Watley. W-A-T-T-L-E, I believe is what the flower is called. What's national or what country's national flower is the wattle? W-A-T-T-L-E. 
Oh, yeah, people got it. I seen one person anyway. Let's see. Uh, Ireland is not it. Mark with Austria, Australia, down under. Correct answer. Uganda. Yeah, we'll go with that answer too, Carrie, and they're real close. <laughs> the UK. I mean, I've, what's a lot? Of, see, that's why I need Michael in here because he's my Googler and he's not here to Google. Oh, catfight, catfight. Um, let me see this. What are you doing, Jack? Come and show you your ass on TV. Listed alphabetically, what would be the first property on a Monopoly game board? Listed alphabetically, what would be the first property on a Monopoly game board? Oh, <laughs> so the drop bears eat waddles. Okay, keep the chat in. Meow, Baltic, Baltic, Boardwalk. Damn it, Atlantic is the correct answer. Elect. I should say Electric Avenue, but it's Atlanta Avenue. Is the the foist? Nice guess, there, girl. Who was the first American team to join the National Hockey League in 1924? Who was the first American team to join the National Hockey League in 1924? Double. Oh, wait. We got JJ's really out of control. A double damn in it. Ooh. I don't. No, I was never allowed pets and go <laughs> UK or the well, I would guess the US. K does that help, Spooky? That's the, the standard edition, isn't it? <laughs> Drop bears, last thing you'll ever want to see. Drop bears, the last thing you will ever see. <laughs> Red Wings, West Virginia, Red Wings, Boston. Bruins is the correct answer. Jimmy the Tux. Canada. And then the asshole. We, we, we don't we need to quit doing people's emotes. Shit happens. <laughs> and I usually cause it according to anyway. Brewers. Brewers, that's a basketball basketball. Gotta give it's a baseball team. The Milwaukee Brewers. That's the different sport, Carrie Ann. And Spooky's still on Boardwalk. <laughs> or on Monopoly. Okay, let us see. Oh, here's one for Dave. Oh, okay, we'll do this one. What term for a Bigfoot creature comes from the Salish Indian word meaning wild man? You make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. Yeti, but not Yeti. Yeti, but not Yeti. Sasquatch, but Sasquatch is the correct answer. Speed and then Spooky follows up. And I don't know if there's actually a difference between Yeti per se, other than that the Yeti isn't that the one that's the cold-natured guy that I like. The abominable snowman. Is, is, is. What country popu What country's population hit the 1 billion mark in May of 2000? What country's population hit the 1 billion mark in May of 2000? Yeti is Himalayans. It's China. I, that's my guess, JJ. It's actually Carrie Ann with India. Nice. Jimmy the Tux came. PC. Yep. China was my first guess, and they did bad. I bad. Let's see. 
on the game of Battleship, how many hits does it take to sink the submarine? On the game Battleship, how many hits does it take to sink the submarine? Three is correct. JJ, five would be the Battleship, or, yeah, the uh, aircraft carrier, actually. Where's the Battleship, too? Hell, I can't, since long as I played, you skunked my Battleship. Okay, five is the carrier. D, 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 okay. I think we got that one. In karate, what color belt is earned just before the black? In karate, what kind of belt is earned just before the black one? The battleship is the four. Ah, oh, the honorable belt is brown. JJ had got the correct answer, right? Followed closely by Spooky and Carrie Ann is colorblind and she thinks brown is white, just like I do. Oh, my Ranger scored again. Yay. Pink with red tasks and stri stripes, little tassels. Ooh, Bundava. Okay, I'm trying to keep score. There's no CD. Here we go. No, oh, that's okay. This is about the Ouija board, but what do you call the movable indicator on the Ouija board, which is shaped like a heart? What do you call the movable indicator on a Ouija board, which is shaped like a heart? I'm gonna... That's it. JJ got it. Whatever that big word is, plashette. Oh. And then Carrion got it. And then Spooky's on the shuttle. Joe's still having sex with Satan's a hole. That first letter. That first letter finder thing. That's the technical term for it, Speed, and you got it right. That's all that counts. What is this? What is the soft, triangular, fleshy part of the inside of a horse's hoof called? I did not know this. What is the soft, triangular, fleshy part of the inside of a horse's hoof called? And that's just such a lovely description. It's soft, triangular, fleshy. Almost like bubble gum. They could have made bubble gum out of that crap. Oh, shit. Spooky is on it. Frog is the correct answer. How does anybody know? Although we got Mark on, up top with vulva. Um, yep. I guess it's true. Most men really can't find the little man in the boat. <laughs> How do you know that's frog? How? Are you a, like, horse person, Spooky? <laughs> I was trying to preempt your question. Everybody does that. Oh, the uvula? Ugula? That... I've actually had that trim when I did my rhino surgery in 2018. For some reason, they thought it had to be bigger. But I have I sleep slept great and had never had to use the CPAP machine again, so I will not bitch. Um, yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. The, the you, yeah, you. I can't believe anybody in here would think that Mark was being a pervert. Re, say sorry to Mark for thinking that he, he he said that. People, we all knew what he was really talking about. The Ugala, not the the nasties. He's a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, like a little punching bag back there. Yeah. There you go. Oh my goodness. What's caused a major fight over here? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Tea bags rolled into small round pellets are called what? 
Seriously? Tea leaves rolled into small round pellets are called what? That's what I'm saying. Here, let me just. I'm still amazed that anybody could got the frog one. Here's the rabbit turds. Yes, that is the. the oh, Justin's in here to, to cause havoc, to take over the game and be the perv. Um, T bullets. It. I'm gonna. It's. It's called. Let me see if anybody put any other answers up in there. It's called gunpowder tea. I don't know, just because of the shape, I guess. I'm sure they don't put gunpowder in it. I hope. If not, is that where the uh, they came up with calling a small drink a shot to blow your fucking head off? If they actually put gunpowder in it, anyway. All right, time for your math hats to be put on. How many spikes are on the Statue of Liberty's crown? How many spikes are on the Statue of Liberty's crown? Wait, two leaves. Oh, that's what I put in. Thirteen, thirteen. No, no. Not quite half of that. <laughs> Nine is closer. Oh, there, there's my Googler. Jimmy the Tux with seven is the correct answer. Tis the answer, I tell you. Tis, tis, tis. This one, I don't know why the French would call it that. I guess we'll find out. What vegetable's name in French translates to earth apple and I guess those are for earth angels what vegetables name in French translates to earth apple potato by Justin followed by Joe oh, nope spooky then Joe then we'll go with B hold on I trained him so he don't he won't let you out of the room. He's a good babysitter. Taters. Taters. We'll go with that one. French Canadian was in fire. Irish carrot. It's potatoes, the potatoes, the potatoes. I have no idea. What is LP Field also known as? You sound like you're having a stroke. Oh, okay. Are you just gassed today? What is LP Field also known as? Just knowing that seeing the answer, I'll just okay. Album Field, Wrigley's. This is I. This is 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 is. Okay, maybe I need to look this up. LP Field. I went the wrong direction. Maybe that's actually the nickname of... No, I'm, no, it can't be. I would know. LP, that's LP. If you've seen Nissan, unless they changed it. Okay, well, let's see what the answer is. Don't help me none. <clears throat> no clue. I'm going to go ahead and a lot of P. That's the one. No clue. Uh, what? Yes, I don't. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out what LP is, but I think LP used to be something else. They just, must be the, the one in Nash. Oh, no, here it is. Here are seven things you need to know about the Tennessee Titans. It was called. 
the Delphia Coliseum from 99 to 02, the Coliseum from 02 to 06, and LP Field from 06 to 2015. Uh, car manufacturer Nissan brought the names right, bought the names rights for the stadium for the 20 years. So the correct answer is it's also known as the woodshed. And that's what I was thinking, but I thought it meant like when you take your kids out back the woodshed and whoop their asses back in the day. But that's actually what by the same thing. Do, do, do. All right. I may be back. Gotta put kids in there. You know, you ain't doing shit. You're sitting there watching Laura do it. We call our local school district LP, though. Okay. We got the woodshed out the way. The woodshed. This is from my dear beloved Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan made headlines in 1980 for claiming that 80% of air pollution comes from what? For us old, old, and, old and people's this is. Ronald Reagan made headlines in 1980 for claiming that 80% of air pollution comes from what? Um, no, it's even funnier than car farts, or cow, gays, cow farts, aliens, atheists. Uh, no. Think about the one thing I, that would help air pollution and not be the cause of air pollution. Your mom. Thank you. Cow gas. No, this it's well, it's a living, breathing thing, but it's not an animal. It's like those big shade. There we go, Carrie. Nope. We're going to have to give it to Spooky because they got treed. Then we have carry on with trees, windmills, treed, nuclear power, trees, trees, trees. There we go. Look at the trees, peoples. It causes air pollution. Cut them down. Okay. What whirling Italian folk dance was said to cure the bite of the large local wolf spider? What whirling Italian folk dance was said to cure the bite of the large local wolf spider? Fun fact, sharks are older than trees. Depends how old the tree is. And how old the shark is, I guess. Are we talking about in general? They are just older. What whirling Italian folk dance was said to be the cure of the bite of a local wolf spider? The dance was called, I'll check for the answer one more time, an Italian dance. It's Italiano. No, 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 no mambo. No mambo. No tango, no mambo. We we do the tarantula dance for this. It's this is the dance for the uh, the the jumping woofy thing spider. No, no, no walls. It's the tarantula. And really, that is the answer. <laughs> I'm putting it all in there. I should have read that one better the first time and skipped it. The macarena. The tarantula. See, it's a tarantula. Who? I did not know this one. I, I did. Can't remember. But he's dead now. Who was the first Ronald McDonald? Who is the first Ronald McDonald? It's the chicken dance. Chicken up, chicken down. Tap dance. What are you doing, Jack? Chewy, what are you doing? Well, you just had to bring Ronald Duck. No. No, no, no. PC wants to have been the first Ronald McDonald. Are you moving in, Chewy? Choo choo. Who was the first Ronald McDonald? Yes, he was the weatherman. That was going to be my first clue. 
he's 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 Freddie Mercury. <laughs> no. Hello, Liz. Okay, the correct answer. I'll give Tux a little bit longer before, so he can go nuts trying to think about this. And when he hears it, he'll be going, "Oh yeah, that's the guy. That was the one." Because he goes on like, "What? Good Morning America." Afterwards, and became famous or Ister. Colonel Sanders. No, Willard Scott is the correct answer. Speed. From three points. Matt Lauer. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that. Oh, yeah, I did that before. Okay, I have no clue what this is, but we're going to ask it anyway because we can. How many inches is a span? S P A N, span. How many inches is a span? Did you ignore me, Chewy? Chewy, did Chewy, you ignore me? Uh, 10, 36, 5. Well, what's the question? <laughs> Get sidetracked. Oh. Um... Uh, Ten's really close. <laughs> if that helps, ten's really, really close. Five is about half as close. What are you doing? You big you just oh you're knocking stuff down, you big six, eight, no, no, nine point five. What takes nine point five is closer than eight? Yes, the correct answer now is going to be changed to nine point five. I think it's in the ballpark of 24. PG with PC, I mean PG. PC with nine is the correct answer. Okay. What is a figure with eight equal sides called? What is a figure with eight equal sides called? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, we're still good. Okay. I'm surprised we haven't got pie in there yet. There we go. JJ with octagon. Michael N with octagon. Mark Caesar with octagon. Spooky bed hair with octagon. Did I say Liz? I hope I said Liz. Before between Michael N and Mark. One of those eight. Sided thingies. That's the one. You got it, Speed. Okay. What is the fear of fog, F-O-G, called? I guess I may try to pronounce that, but we're going to definitely put it in. What is the fear of fog called? One of those inside things are just like the other. What did I say? What is the fear of fog called? Fogophobia. Oh, you would think that's what it was called. Hydrophobia. Must why? Right. What is the skirt of fog? Yeah, no, then not the one. This is what I'm, I'm the one that I got. Here we go. I'm putting it in there. This is what it is. Um, come on. How make lapo phobia wakabobo? If I knew what cloud was in Latin, I'd go with that cloud phobia. The fog. Okay, here we go. Before gaining international popularity with its plastic interlocking bricks, what did Lego make? Before gaining international popularity with its plastic interlocking bricks, what did Lego make?
Yeah. Who names these phobia? Can you imagine the, the guy's name or what it's called to have a phobia of, of labeling phobias? Assault rifles. Mr. Oh, wait. You guys got me sidetracked. Nope. Before gaining international popularity with its plastic interlocking bricks, what did Lego make? They made wooden toys. There you go. Now you know. Penises, too. They also made penises. But you had to have a prescription for the, the penis and then also for the, the penis condoms. There we go with the dead one. Let me go with this one. Oh, that's what the pogs are. I remember that now. Uh, oh, here we go. Which U.S. state is home to CNN? What U.S. state is home to CNN? And then, and then. Got wood condoms. Wooden condoms suck. <laughs> This is funny, though. Just remember that. New York, Texas. No, no, no. Come on, peoples. Oh. Which U.S. state is home to CNN? Go Bulldogs. Does that help? Go Dogs. Oh, Georgia. There was one in there. Just I stopped reading. Liz has Georgia. Singapore. Right next to Tickham Tockham. Weed, Oregon, man. Okay. We got one. That's all I care. That's all I care about. What the hell? What plant is used to make tequila? What plant is used to make the, the tequila? Yeah, I don't do impressions very well. Yes, Georgia. Really? ATL. Agave. Yes. It's... Is, actually, what's they call it called? They put yes, it's blue agave. If that even matters, there we go, agave. So we've got. Oh, you guys are quicker. You're getting quicker on me now. JJ with agave, Michael N. Cactus, guava for Carrie Ann, agave, blue agave, traditionally by Michael K. N. I mean. Cactus by that. Sure, everybody everybody wins here. Everybody except the person who doesn't. Um, don't know. Don't care about that one. Don't know. Don't know. Okay, don't care about that one. They're on alcohol. We did the loonies the other day. We did that one. Here we go. This is for your gun lovers. What does a caliper measure? What does a caliper measure? Do 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 do. Proto tequila. Just if you're good. Okay. The caliper measures the approximate internal diameter of a gun barrel. So everybody was close or had it. Because everybody wins here again. Remember? Gauge, which kind of, but technically it would be. Betty body fog. Thickness. I like thickness. Maybe that's what I need. I need a thickness meter to see if that girl's got enough back. What game comes packaged with a small plastic hourglass and 16 different lettered cubes? What game comes packaged with a small plastic hourglass and a 16 
and 16 different letter cubes. Gosh. Oh, damn, you guys is... Yeah. Okay, Monopoly, Pictionary, Go Who again, Boggle, Lisa, Liz. Why do I keep saying Lisa? It's Liz got it first. Then Carrie Ann. Michael, you're not even in the ballpark. Um, we're going to give Boogie... Boogie Tucks, the correct answer. Justin and JJ, because he's boggled. The boggle boogie. Boogie nights. The logo of Mac Trucks is what animal? And do not say primates. <laughs> the logo of Mac Trucks is what animal? Dee, 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 dee. Hope scorch. JJ with Bulldog. Justin with Bulldog. Boulder Dash. Puma. I'm scared of Carrie Ann, so she wins. Jimmy the Tux with Bulldogs and Liz with the Bulldogs. Did I say Matt? I lost myself. You guys are messing with me. Here we go. What game awards the Stanley Cup? And I'm watching some of it right now. Well, not the, the, the Stanley Cup per se. It's just the regular season. What game awards the Stanley Cup? Oh, we got it. I busted, busted, busted. We got Justin... Then carry in with hockey, Canadian ice boxing by JJ, hockey by Liz, speed, Jimmy the Tux, and we have sailing by Spooky, of course. Yes, the Canadian ice boxing. I went to a boxing match and a hockey game broke out. Here we go. Oh, choo choo. How many balls are normally racked in the triangle in pocket billiards? How many balls are normally racked in the triangle in pocket billiards? And I'm pretty sure it's an odd number. <laughs> oh, we got JJ with 15. Justin with 15 and poor Tux, one too many because you can't get the cue ball inside. So I guess you could stack it on top, though, but then you couldn't use it. Mark with 15. Dun -dun -dun. All the ones that fit in there. See, speed's got it. You can't argue with that logic. Doc, what are you doing? White. The 16th ball is pure white. It's called the cue ball. Oh, and Paul Clay, I got 15, too. Welcome. All right. Oh, we're not talking about sumo wrestlers. No, no, no. All righty. What musical instrument appears on the Guinness B beer label? I did not realize this. What musical instrument appears on the Guinness beer label? Thanks for coming, Kelly Ann. <clears throat> We've got JJ with Harp, Spooky. Liz always gets it regardless, and Speed always wins also. with the. How can you argue with ukulele? It looks like a harp. And Jimmy the Tux with harp. I would have never got that. I don't drink enough of that stuff, I guess, because I don't like it. What beverage was the first American consumer produced, made widely available in the USSR? I'll try it again. What beverage was the first American consumer product made widely available in the USSR? Back in the USSR. 
Coca-Cola. Pepsi is the correct answer. Anyways, I'm going to go pass out. I have to. Oh, you wuss, Michael. Such a wuss. You're a quitter. Look at Liz. She's chugging away and still getting the answers correct. Quitter. <laughs> Sleep well. Pepsi. It's the winners. Banana Fosters originated in what city? I guess we're on a, the alcohol part of this. <clears throat> Banana Fosters originated in what city? Paris is not the correct answer, Justin. Poor Claire knows because she's it's New Orleans. New Orleans. Not Brooklyn. Except because speed, although I'm co confused and Conflicted because speed always wins, but yet it comes up with the wrong answer. I don't get it. Doy. No, nor nor Orleans is the correct answer. Jamaica man? Kingston, Jamaica? Jimmy the Tux. It says right here. My answer says man. It's a New Orleans. The city of boobies. It says it right there. I don't make this stuff up. Booby. Okay, the next one would be Novins. Okay, we got it. We need to get PC up here so she can be telling us how to speak that there, Cajon. Oh, I didn't know what it was. Okay, the original Lego Land opened in which country in 1968? I have no clue, had no clue, and still have no clue. The original... Lego opened in which country in 1968? Oh, Titty City. Denmark is that? Oh, it is Denmark. I thought it was the other one. Just nope, nope. Excuse me. I'm still distracted by Titty City by speed. Spooky Denmark. Justin with Denmark. Germany, not so much. Holland. You get credit for that because at least it's on the tulip patch. Canada, what the heck? Poor, we feel, we feel sorry for poor Claire. So, Canada is now part of Holland, which is part of Denmark. And the only buddy that got it wrong is probably me. There we go. Everybody better be happy now. Every, every, the, everywhere is the correct answer. As long as you didn't say the moon. The toys that make us made us on Netflix was very educational. They have that on. Um, 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 I watched that on uh, 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 another channel too. I can't forget on on my the Dish Network. I watch it every once in a while. They've got a whole different. There's like toys that made us and other things too. South Park says Denmark is the Canadian. There we go. So you are right. That's why I did not question poor Claire. She comes with facts. Okay. Think about this one. How many bends does a standard paper clip have? How many bends does a standard butter or butterfly? Paper clip half. I seen the answer even, and I was just like, oh my god, oh, you guys better than I am. Three is the correct answer. We've got JJ, Justin, and poor Claire. And spooky. All with Trey. Jesus, Jason, so fast he is. He's in my head. Get out of my head, JJ. No, no, no. Go piss up a rope. Ah, he on the phone. He asked Google. Or what's the girl? Alexis? I don't care about that. Okay. I did not know this one. In what state are two-thirds of all Fortune 500 companies 
headquartered? In which state are two-thirds of all Fortune 500 companies headquartered? Okay, let's see. Texas is not even close. Um, no. Each one of the original 13, does that help? Oh, Jimmy the Tux with Delaware is the correct answer. Cambodia, I believe, is actually part of Delaware, is it not? So Spooky might also be correct. <laughs> or <laughs> Vietnam, <laughs> which is part of Cambodia, which is part of the Delaware, which is part of everything. Oh, see what I started? I would have, I never would have guessed. I figured some of the first guess would have been New York, which I've seen that earlier. Um, but Delaware? That's just, okay. Well, oh, here we go. And how would you like to be the maid of this house? How many rooms are in the White House? How many rooms are in the White House? I didn't know Delaware was still a state. Oh, you're not even close. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, God. Okay, don't go any higher than 267 and work your way backwards. 74 was way too low. 106 is still low. 167 was high. 120 is a little bit low. Hell, I would have taken a shitload in there. 126, but you're getting closer. You're six off. 260, you blew it. Nope, we're close. We're we're pretty close to where we're at 126 and go up. Go up six from there. Six, six there, there we go. Speed got it with six 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 six. Wait, six six six. Yeah, not four of them. Uh, 132 rooms. JJ got it. 132. Outstanding. I'm not going to try that. Okay. Which religion has the most gods? And if they've got the most gods, you know they have to be right. And if they're right, they win. But which religion has the most gods? 3,142. Okay. Oh, that's the other. Spooky with Hindu. JJ. Oh, nope. We got Spooky, Justin, and then Jason. And then poor Claire, with followed by Liz, the Hindu. Does anybody have a guesstimation of how many gods that it's estimated that they have? So this is where I need Michael Lynn. So I, can, I get something in my head, I want to look it up, but I'm fighting it. Because that's not my job no more. I quit. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, we don't care about that. All righty. This is my mom's drink, too. I don't know. Ugh. What is the basic flavoring of Kahlua? And for those that don't know, it is an alcohol. But there's it's got a distinct flavor to it. Really? 8.5 billion, 2,000, 3,000. So it's like way the hell up there. Like we talk 4,000. Gods, most of them belong to the Hindus. Then, um, so we can go up. Oh, JJ has the coffee, poor Claire with coffee, speed with amaretto, close enough because he always wins. I got that one long before. Um, coffee and chocolate, just the coffee, rummed coffee. Oh, is it now? You got me. So, is it definitely coffee, but not? chocolate or is it actually a rummed coffee because i don't like coffee at all literally so i've never really ew, i tried ew. 
Even as a kid, when you, you drink anything just to drink it, I couldn't drink it. I will pay you for questions that are not alcohol and American based. Okay. <laughs> this one is just for Justin. What do you call Canadian ham? <laughs> or the Canadian bacon that me and my buddy always fight about? What is a Canadian ham? For those that eat at McDonald's, do they have Canadian ham or the Canadian bacon that they, they promote on their like bacon, ham, a hunk of pork? It's bacon. Okay. Yeah, because I got a buddy that lives up in uh, Toronto and I give him hell about everything. But we, and he has to argue, and he's a theist. If you see my facebook of all the shit that he sends me trying to think look i proved god um uh, nice guy but jesus but uh, yeah we, we got into argument over canadian bacon is it ham or is it bacon and he actually kept finding stuff that contradicted his own self of what he was saying it was so it's like people really even in canada don't know what's what canada canadian bacon is produced pork belly so it's not even ham it's like the spam Kind of, sort of. Bacon is bacon. The Canadian part is just... Okay. Because I don't do bacon anyway, so it wouldn't matter to me much, but... I don't know why this is... Okay. And I'll still argue with my buddy. Just because I can. With ketchup. Okay. Um, another Canadian question. Who has... What city in Canada has the best... Canadian hockey team in all of Canada, obviously. Not anywhere else, just in Canada. The ketchup. I'm sorry, I meant tomato sauce. <laughs> Weed. Okay. Edmonton. Oi. Toronto. Habs. I was going to say, I would have to go with the Habs myself. That I'm a New York Rangers. So I tell you, we only win like one cup in, well, it's 94 since we last won the last one. I can't remember if that was the only one we've ever won. I'm sure it's not. They're having a good year this year, though. Anyway, I'm trying to th I can't think of any. Has anybody else got any Canadian? Um, yeah, the Minnesota North Stars. That's not Canada. Hey, one's better than none. All right. Um, if anybody has any Canadian questions, they pop up. Just pop them up in or ask them and I'll No, not anymore. Uh, actually, more and more Americans are becoming the dominant players. Go Yanks. <laughs> no, I'm not even sure. Um, I just enjoy the, the sport, though. And I, I really don't think that Canada has any more hockey teams. It's been a while since they've won one, hasn't it? Any of them? Okay, that's the Kalua. What is the nickname of Alcatraz Prison? What is the nickname of Alcatraz Prison? Okay, gosh, Justin, gosh, the Rock. Who got? It? Oh, JJ got it first. Sing Sing. No, no. Sing Sing's a different prison. Uh, the Rock, The Rock, The Rick, The Rock, Hell, The Rock, The Rock. Okay, let me see if I can get, because this is just, this is supposed to be a general one. Wait, let's see. What'd you say? Oh, let, let me see if I get an entertainment. Okay, wait a second. 
Uh oh, I just lost the. Oh no, I didn't. Here we go. Entertainment trivia questions. Let's see what this are. Oh, the other ones are general. Okay. Oh, you come on, you mother. Oh, here we go. Why are you not popping up? Oh, here we are. The general. That's not what I want. Where are. Give me a second. How the hell did I get out of this one? Eh. Entertainment. Here we go. Here we go. These are all entertainment, supposedly. So here, this is for the Canadian. I don't bleed. Uh, all right. Here's this one. I guess this is. Uh, oh, this is a, a card. I don't like these. In which city the famous film Lady Bird took place in what city in which city the famous film lady bird took place oh the next one i recognize the next one so these might get better because i don't know what that is <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and just say somebody nobody gonna know that one in houston we have a problem no it is in sacramento california all right here we go who provided the voice of Groot in the Guardian of the Galaxy movies? That's actually a good question. Vin Diesel is correct, JJ. Then Justin. John Goodman, close enough, little buddy, speed. Yes, Groot did the voice of Groot. Um, no, we did the voice of Groot. Who did the voice of John Goodman doing the voice of Vin Diesel? Then we got Claire popped up with it. Then Stephen. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? I just noticed if you had been here for a minute. My bad. We had to change the whole format for Canadians because they don't understand good trivia uh okay who <laughs> who directed the ultimate marvel movie avengers endgame oh that one's a good question yeah. i'm gonna i'll ask that one after i we finish this one up i got it flagged and tagged uh, let me rewrite. Read, who directed the ultimate Marvel movie Avengers Endgame? The answer is Anthony Rooney. Oh, it says actually it's Joe and Anthony Russo. Close enough. Good one. Okay, now we've got one from Steven. Who did the voice of Iron Giant in The Iron Giant? And that one, I, I'd have no no clue whatsoever. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I don't think I've ever actually heard them speak because I don't have much. I guess I'm not, not 10 years old. So if somebody actually already guessed the answer, tell me it. I, Hey, Robin, how you doing, girl? Well, then that's a trick question. We're going to have to disqualify Stephen for the rest of his life. Oh, it's Vin D's nuts. <laughs> JJ, bad. Trick question. That's a good question, actually. I'm trying to think who could... Because... Oh, God, another... Which is the highest grossing R rated film in American, the North America? God dang, I, I'm reading what I want to read into it. Which is the highest grossing R rated film in North America? Not again. Deadpool. <laughs> Not in the top 5,000 movies. Uh, Pee Wee's Big Top, hurry. Oh, gotcha. 
wouldn't be paying attention. The highest grossing R-rated film in North America was The Passion of the Christ. Are these questions any better, Justin, or should I try another category? Debbie Does Dallas. I'm not saying I know that one because that would make me admit how old I am. <laughs> Robin, because we all know the only things that <laughs> Robin watches are dick waffles and Peter pancakes. Oh, Robin, I love it. Okay, I'm trying to. In what city? Uh, city O? Let's try this in English O. In which city is Studio 54 located? Yeah, I didn't watch it. Uh, bits and pieces of the passion, but I, I, I've never watched it all the way through. In what city is Studio 54 located? Let me see. Oh, Spooky with New York. That's correct. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else. Okay, I don't think we got there. Hollywood, L.A., Wood, California. So Liz and Spooky are the only two that got that one. Noise. Noisely noise. Which one? Oh gosh, I'm not doing her. Who is the famous pop band that was called Carrie's Flowers up until 2001? Who is the famous pop band that was called Carrie's Flowers up until 2001? Do, do, do. Famous. Them famous. One happened to be like a member of... Nope, wasn't no doubt. It was... Uh, I'm trying to... One of the judges on, what is it, The Voice? And actually, I think one of the original ones, actually, was their lead singer. Tattooed all up. That's most of them. Um, that might be too much of a hint. Hold on. Maroon 5 is correct. JJ, Liz, Speed, uh, the Dixie X Chicks. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a band with that name now. Okay, let me see. What was the coffee shop named in the TV hit show Friends? What was the coffee shop named in the hit TV show Friends? Not the brew. Uh, Central Perk. There you go. Give me one second. I need to let my dog out real quick.
So I wasn't talking anyway yet. I was just trying to catch up on uh, Trevor from Believe It or Not. I follow him when I can. All right. How old was Rose in the Titanic movie when she was recounting her story? Speedy's Coffee Shop. 43. Um, How old was Rose in the Titanic movie when she was recounting her story? Oh, Liz, you're, you're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, and Robin, just a little tip too much. Too old. Yeah, too fucking old not to keep a, that, what was it, the necklace? Supposed to be worth all that money? Rose was 100, yep, 100 years old, exact. So we got Spooky coming up with it on my board, then Jason, um, and then Becker. I didn't realize she was 100. Okay, we did this one. Okay. How many Harry Potter books and movies are there? And here's a hint. They are not the same number. How many Harry Potter books and movies are there? And the hint is they are not the same number. I can even... Whoa, damn. People's busting in there. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, stop. I think Claire, everybody's got sevens and eights. I think Claire, poor Claire is the first one. Make sure it's seven books and seven. Yep, seven books and eight movies. Damn. Somebody reads a lot. Movies. But the correct answer is seven books and eight movies. That blows me away. Nice, girl. Meant to say they're stupid, not you are stupid. <laughs> but speed, I can't deny you. You're always right. I've already made that rule. Yeah, that's what I thought too. It's like, what the? That's why I had to go back up there and say, okay, what did I do? You know, what could I have said that he could have? That's funny. Oh, here we go. This one. What is the longest running Broadway show? And it's not cats. <laughs> There's your hint. And it's not dogs. What I think we had this before too. I think I don't know. What is the longest running Broadway show? JJ got it. Make sure. Rolling. <laughs> yep. JJ with Phantom of the Opera. Poor Claire has Phantom. J Justin has it. Uh, Annie, I guess something. Penguins. Hello, Dolly. Oh, Annie, duh. That, I'm with you now. I kind of forgot the question. But I remembered it. I got to get rid of this. There we go. Uh, 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 I don't know. We're going to... I'm not trying to... Mickey Mouse almost went by a different name. What was it? Mickey Mouse almost went by a different name. What was it? Yeah, I'm trying to find websites with more updated current trivia. I mean, we have, have to do that tomorrow. Oswald the Rabbit. Damn, can't re put it, it's fairly close to you know Mickey Mouse. Mortimer. There we go. Poor Claire got it. It was Mortimer Mouse. Is what. He almost became. 
Oswald the rabbit. <laughs> Ronald the rabbit. Rat. Rabbit. Let's learn how to read, old guy. Um, here we go. I'm trying to see. Okay. What magic duo performed at the Mirage Casino in Las Vegas from 1990 to 2003 until one of them ran into a cat? I'm sure it's Danger Mouse was a different character. She smelled goofy, JJ. No, it's the Tiger guys. Oh, Siegfried and Roy. It's up there. Yeah, I was trying to go back to see if anybody got it. JJ got the Siegfried and Roy. So did Liz. So did Steven. Those Tiger guys is close enough that I would have never got them. She was, oh, she was effing goofy. Okay. <laughs> Thought she smelled like goofy or something. I can't remember what it was. Done, done, done. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see. Who was the actor to first portray James Bond? Who was the first James Bond? Nope, Sean Connery was not the first. Roger Moore was before Sean Connery, but there was even one before that. And I think he only did one movie. I can't remember 100 on it. I don't want to say it even says what you, you know. Who was the first actor to portray James Bond? Roger Moore, no Roger Moore, no Sean, Laz. I don't see the answer. Donald Navin, no. Uh 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 uh. Well, uh. reading through them all, I think, I think, I think. David Nevin is incorrect. I for, I'll go ahead and give you the answer. The correct answer is Barry Nelson. Like I said, I'd have to double check, but I think he only did one movie, but I could be really way off there. What was the first cable television series to win an Emmy for Outstanding Drama Series? What was the first cable television series to win an Emmy for Outstanding Drama Series? Uh, let me see what I'm talking about. Oh, no, no, no. This is a... Uh, this is after Dallas. This is like... They, 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 the Italians. There we go. The Sopranos. JJ. Boom. That was one of my favorite shows ever. But then you're talking about Dallas and Dynasty. Well, they're not 90210, but hell, I watched all of them too. Who shot JR? Nobody, because it was a friggin' dream. As dumb as it was, it was actually a, a great plot twist back in the day, in my opinion. Okay. In which country did the first season of Survivor take place? In which country did the first season of Survivor take place? Yeah. It was definitely New Zealand. Nope. No Kiwi. No Sierra Leone. 
Africa, the Bali. It's the the east east it's the it starts with an M. Does that help? Not Mexico. <laughs> Madagascar. Oh no! I was gonna say that's it. No, it's, it's close. Be safe, Robin. Uh, the correct answer was Malaysia. Was the first Montana? No, that was Yellowstone, ain't it? Or I can't remember where Yellowstone is. Is that Montana or Wyoming or some shit? Anyway, make more weed. Yes, there we go. Who won the first season of American Idol? I'm going to have to definitely look for a... Uh, it's a country. It's got to be. If it ain't part of the United States, it's got to be a separate country unto itself. It's in our Constitution. <laughs> now, isn't it? Because isn't it? It's Asia. Boom. Oh, big bad mama. Pulls that one. Kelly Clarkson. Oh, nope, we had, excuse me, correction, Beck, then Big Bad Mama, Poor Claire, Stefan, uh, Alice Cooper did. I got it for, you did. I said you did, dear Becker. I think I did. Let me go, uh, let me go back, make. Malaysia, oh my god. Yeah, you, you're the very first one I read because I first thought it was Big Bad Bomb, but then I said correction, Beck had it first. Yeah, I thought he just walked in here and got the answer. It's like, you got to be kidding me. You, you got him, Beck. We got him covered. We keep our eye out on him. Um... Which duo won the first Grammy for the best rap performance? This is going back. I need to find some new, new, new updated ones. <laughs> Beck will just do anything to opposite me. And actually, if, oh, that's not the one. I was going to put this in here earlier again. I need to figure out how to pin this shit up there. Sonny and Cher. I love Sonny and Cher. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You just don't know. Uh, Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff is the correct answer. The Fresh Prince. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Nice one. What singer holds the most Grammy nominations? Holy crap. I did not realize... What singer holds the most Grammy nominations? Holy shit, that's a lot. Uh, well. well, you're funny and right. <laughs> Tim McGraw, yeah, you're not, not even close. Taylor Swift, not even listed here. Um, this was Taylor Swift before Taylor Swift was Taylor Swift. And if she was black and married to Jay-Z and you were always saying her name, say my name, say my name when no one is around you. Now, come on. That's got to be the world's biggest hint. Cause I want somebody to answer this Beyonce. There we go. Uh, that was the correct answer, and as it gets a little side note on this one, what singer holds the most Grammy nomination? Answer, Beyonce. She has 88 nominations, including the nine uh, that she had with Destiny's Child. So, yeah, that, nice guess there, Beck. It's 88. It's a whole lot of shit. Oh, I figured it would be somebody else like Taylor. Schwift. Okay. Do you... I don't know. 
Okay, this is for you, Britney Spears lover likers. What animal did Britney Spears famously carry on her shoulders during a performance? And it was gorgeous, too. Oh, my gosh, that was so gorgeous. The snake, not, I'm not, I just like the snakes. And I just said snake after, okay, ooh, thank goodness. Beck, Liz, her husband, the dinosaur, the spooks. Oh, you go bad. Yeah, but which husband? And which one lasted the longest? <clears throat> but yeah, the snake. How many years have passed between the release of Avatar and its sequel, Avatar The Way of Water? How many years have passed between the release of Avatar and its sequel? Avatar The Way of Water. What the? And don't forget, in about 10 or 15 minutes, we'll probably start getting ready for um, the gift card, 176. Um, it is a double-digit number, but it's not way out there. 10 isn't that far off. I know me and my itty-bitty hints that don't help. And it's supposed to be an unlucky number for some people. Or they claim it is. <clears throat> oh, dry my mouth. We have to get something to drink now. 13. Yeah, it's not 13, but it's 13. 13, 13. Couldn't be 13, but 13. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's a long time, though. Uh... Oh, sports questions. Okay, I don't know if I got any more. Hold on. Let me try to find, just use a different whole fucking thing, because these are... Why do I got so many... I'm try... No, that's one I just did. Give me one second. I need to get an assistant that can research these stupid things and find what I need. General... Easy, hard, fun. I'm trying to find entertainment again or something. Religion and culture. Easy, hard, fun. Let's do funny trivia questions and see what these are. Huh? Okay, we're gonna do these funny ones. I don't know if they're funny, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. Hold on to your hats. Let's see if there's anybody else. I can do religion. I can do anything you want. <laughs> um, what is the term for a group of flamingos? And I'm hoping these are legit answers. Uh, there you go. It's set. What is the term for a group of flamingos? Maybe they're just supposed to be jokey jokes. I don't know. The term for a group of flamingos, and it says the answer is flamboyance. Flamboyance. I'm gonna read a few, a few more of these and see if these are legit. Because uh, what is the only planet that rotates on its side? Flamboyance. There you go. People got it. Go spooky. What is the only planet that rotates on its side? Uranus is the correct answer according to this. Now, is that a legit question or is that just some a pun? The drunk planet. Because, oh, wait, we're just going to go. We're going to go with it for now until I figure this out. Uh, um, what is, yeah, these are actually legit. Because I know this one. What is the official animal of Scotland? Cheers, people. Cheers. 
Bye, Spooky. Thanks for popping in. Hey, Sydney. Of course, Sydney would show up as you know on an anus question. Unicorn is correct. The Scottish animal, the haggis. Okay, let's see the next question. That was cool. What animal is known to laugh and has been proven to have a sense of humor? Uh, I wish they'd elaborate on this. What animal is known to laugh and has been proven to have a sense of humor? Not hyenas. They're, they're, they're smaller than the little hyenas. Smaller than the, the, the humans. The spooky zone. No, they're little, the little things. They're, they're, no, they're not even primates. They're, they're a rodent. Here we go. There we go. There's your hint. It's a rodent. I don't get the... Oh. Not muskrat, but just the, the rats. Yes. I don't think I like these questions too well. So I, I'm trying to double question. What animal's milk is pink? Uh, tell me this is... What animal's milk is pink? A special gerbil. <laughs> you idiots. Gosh, not Mises. Humans don't have a sense of humor. Not a whale. What the fuck? Um, yes. What animal's milk is pink? This animal kills more people in Africa than any other animal. It might be combined, but I can't remember. A strawberry cow. That's it. The strawberry cow. It's a strawberry cow. Hulk roach, strawberry flavored animal. Speed got it, or Spooky got it with hippo. Uh, then Speed has hippo and Sydney. True story hippos kill more people in Africa than any other animal there. And I want to say combined, but I can't, don't remember for sure. But I know they kill more people individually or as a, whatever you want to say. Pink milk. That got everybody. I don't know. General knowledge. General knowledge. I'm trying to find. How about kid-friendly trivia? I think we might be able to do. Well, we'll see. We'll try the kid and see how good we are. You are. What is the name of the Little Mermaid in the Disney movie? Okay, that's an easy one. Well, that's what the question said. Hippo milk. Yeah. Ariel is correct. Yeah, I just went. Uh, oh, and, and here's the one that got all this trivia thing started. I'm pretty sure. What animal is known for its long neck and spots on its body? Because this used to be the answer to everything. That or skink. But Al's not here, I don't believe. I haven't seen Yeah, after this question, I'm going to find a different group. This is dumb. What animal is known for its long neck and spots on its body? Drift. Drift is the correct answer. Mora eel, yes. The hippopotamus. This is okay. I'm switching. I'm just trying to find a, one I haven't used yet. Um, gosh, the best. This is okay. Let's try these. Updated. Okay, we like updated. What is the deepest ocean trench? What is the deepest ocean trench? I'm just trying these out to see if I like them. Jeffrey. Jeffrey did do, do, do laughed. 
The Toys R Us. I am a Toys R Us. The Marianas Trench. That's the one. The Mariana Trench. Who composed the Moonlight Sonata? Who composed the Moonlight Sonata? I haven't figured out if I like these questions yet or not because it's only the second one I can see. Do, 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 do. Beethoven, I believe, is the correct answer. Let me double. Yeah, Beethoven was the correct answer for that. So we had Spooky, Liz, and Sydney's over there at Chopping Wood. Stephen had Beethoven, nice. When I was a teenager, it's been a while. Stained. It's been a while. I know that song. <laughs> What is the largest island in the world? What is the largest island in the world? Let me look at this. Aaron Lewis. Aaron Lewis. Australia is not the correct answer. Greenland is the correct answer. Cleveland. <laughs> Oh, speed. Madagascar, Fuji's, the, the spooky. Oh, you guys. What is the chemical symbol for oxygen? What is the chemical symbol for oxygen? That seems awful easy. Oh, 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 it's correct. Who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Oh, two. What? Um. Who is credited for painting the Sistine Chapel? That dude. That no, not the Leonardo. It's the Michelangelo. The the Liz got the Michelangelo, followed by the JJ. You know the one from the the, the, the Italianos. Leonardo, poor Leonardo. Then we got the Spookies and the JJs. What is the largest bone in the human body? And don't say the wood. What is the largest bone in the human body? Well, these are kind of getting easier, though. Michael Angelo Turtle. I like turtles. The femur is the correct answer. Beck, JJ, the pelvis, the Elvis pelvis, the spooky femur, Liz femur, Sydney femur. Yeah, I made speed blush. My penis. Yeah, whatever, stubby. <laughs> you perverts. You perverts. Uh, oh, I don't know, did not know. What is the smallest bone in the human body? Guessing that's there, but where is it? What is the smallest bone in the human body? Now you can say it's spooky, your penis. <laughs> ear bone, eardrum, thank you for the compliments like that. Keep me thriving through the day. And it gives you purpose to life, doesn't it, Speed? Um, the in kiss, in cute. This one, and I'm. The picture sucks. Or it's just the general area, which I'm guessing this is what it is. It's the bone on the elbow. It's called the stapes bone. I want to see if, if I click there. It gives me a better answer. Stapes bone. Oh, it is. You guys were correct. It is the middle ear. I don't know why they had a picture of an elbow. Stapes located in the middle ear. The stapes is the smallest bone in the body. Damage to this bone 
may cause partial or complete hearing loss. Uh, so you guys got it. Yeah, if you, if you see this stupid picture, it's like, why do they have a picture of a lady's elbow bent holding a picture of her elbow and it's her ear? So whoever said the ear, you you got it. The eardrums. I took minor anatomy. Yeah, I just, yeah. yeah these are too easy. This, too. That is some... What is the largest bird of prey in the world? The world, I tell you. What is the largest bird of prey in the world? Oh, it's almost time for that time. <laughs> Bullshit. The condor. Oh, damn. The Andy Anden condor is the largest bird of prey, correct? Uh, I'm just trying to finish this up because I'll probably do the drawing here real quick in Greek. Oh. <sighs> What is the only planet in our solar system that rotates clockwise? What is the only planet in our solar system that rotates clockwise? The giant canary. Cleveland, Uranus, Pupiter. No pooper. What's the question again? Oh no. This is a little little planet, if that helps. And you're oh Venus. Whoop, excuse me. I am not paying attention. Sydney got it with Venus. Mercury, Pluto. Nope. It it's it's the, the Venus. Nice one, Sid. Here's another one for Sydney. Surely he can get this one. What is the capital of Australia? What is the, the capital of the Australias? Pluto. Pluto is no longer a planet. It got decommissioned, demoted. Perth, the final frontier. Sydney is not the correct answer. Perth is not the correct answer. Oh, Canterbury, Canterbury, whatever. Spooky got it. And so did Sydney. <coughs> you guys get me. So does London. There it is. There's the capital of Australia. It's London. Oh, Bundava. How many more of the prime numbers? I don't care. Oh, Bundava. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to finish this one up. What does it mean? What is the name of the scale used to measure spiciness of peppers? It's only because I know this and I, I love peppers that I should probably put some in my mouth so I can break open this snot. I'm going to go, go back and read. God dang it. What is the name of the scale used to measure spiciness of peppers? Schofield. Um, who got it first, just to make sure? I drew a blink. Schofield, close enough for Beck. Hot ass scale. Speed gets it. Schofield. Steven. Um, <laughs> you can go with that one too, Sid. Just for you, buddy. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. We're going with Sydney's answer. We're going to rewrite our textbooks. Yes. I don't know. Um, oh. Oh, well. Hold on. Let's do the drawing first. Okay. How many people do I got? I got shows nine here, so we'll do one to 40 again. Um, 
Everybody put a number in between 1 and 40. And I got to find my stupid. I keep for, That's one. I need to find a better. Number generator because it's just so. Bleh. Okay, let me see. See if everybody got number in yet. Let's see. Cleveland, Jupiter. Oh, I went back way too far. Dumbass me. Give me a sec. Okay, back to Schofield. So we got 23, 27, 34, 15, 15, 15. So how many? So let's show nine numbers. Let's make sure everybody gets a chance to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got seven. Seven numbers in there so far. I hope that looks good. Okay. okay, now I gotta remember how to do this. Give me a second. I'm old school. Share. I'll do this one. And, oh, the random numberizer, because it's Share to make sure. Yep. I gotta put a god, there's so much work. You don't realize how much work it is. Okay, can everybody see that? I hope. Me? I no, I think this is for anybody that's on inside chat. Like if I had two or three people on stage with me, it doesn't count. Uh, who's with the viewers? I don't think it does, but I don't pick a number anyway. And I don't do it. So, and actually, for a reminder of those that, okay, just, um, but we are drawing for 50. And if we don't get a hit tonight, we'll just roll it over to 75 next week. And I got to find out where my little, well, there it is. So here we go. Generate eh, 39. I saw we had 30s, but I don't know if we had a 39. Did anybody have 39 by chance off the top of your head? I know everybody does now, right? <laughs> 23, 27, 39, 4, 15, 31, 17, 13. <laughs> and Beck. Wow. It's just quinky dinky that Beck has 39 too. <laughs> So nobody had 39. Um, we'll roll it over till next week where it'll be 75. And what I'll probably do once it gets, you know, if it gets to like 100, what I probably do is like if we had nine people in here, I'll do one in 20 just to cut it. That, you know, not that it gets real, real big. But even get like a two to one, and hopefully somebody could hit that one still. <laughs> Thanks, back. All right. We do a few more questions and probably shut it down a little bit earlier this morning because I've got or tonight because I've got two uh, doctors appointment in the morning and I got to make it. I missed one already and I've got to wait a whole year to see them or if they want me to call in every day to see if there's an, somebody canceled. Fuck that. Just let me die. It's only my liver doctor. Uh, okay, here we go. I don't know if we have, have any Den Denny's in here, but what two colors make up the flag of Denmark? <laughs> Which two colors make up the flag of Denmark? What two color? What two color? I think I think that's neither. Oh yeah. Wait. Hold on. Let's see. Blue, yellow. Blue, white. One of those is correct, right? Am I remembering it right? Yeah. Blue, yellow. Neither are right. Blue, white. One's right. Blue, yellow. Not right. I'm 
two pretty Denmark colors. Red and white. Liz got it. JJ followed. Oh, so close. Blue and white. Oh, I'm thinking of the Swedish thing. No, isn't the Swedes red and white too? They've got the uh, like the little crossy looking thing or something. Like what's on their Swiss nice, I believe. Orange and black. Blue, red, blue, green. No, the correct answer is red and white. Um, let me throw some. Here should be an easy one. What was the name of the crime crime boss who was head of the feared Chicago outfit? What was the name of the crime boss who was the head of the feared Chicago outfit? The outfit. Capone. Speed. Spooky Liz. In that order. And all three of those popped up right. Boom, boom, boom. Your mama. I know, Stephen. Your mama did it. <laughs> or my mama. Whatever mama. Somebody's. I think the storm is killing my feed. Everything's frozen. Stick it in the microwave. Unfreeze it. Whitey Bulger. He was actually uh, not Chicago. He's he's a Boston. He was a Southie. How I knew that, I don't know. Which musician is the godmother to Elton John's sons? I did not even know this. For reals. Which museum is the godmother to Elton John's sons? Holy cheat. Typo ruined my joke. Oh, I'm so sorry. Aretha Franklin, Barbara Streisand, no. Wait, what was the question again? No, that's, and this is what's weird. It, it would be, it's somebody I would never expect. It's not even that old, I don't believe. She, does anybody, the, the re-release of A Star is Born? And I forgot, I know what, Cooper Bradley, is that his name? Bradley Cooper is the male leading man on that one and the godmother to Elton John's sons. Oh, there you go. Lady Gaga. JJ got it. I couldn't believe that. I had to, to actually literally reread that twice because I'm thinking Barbara Streisand or, you know, somebody like that, a Tina Turner, Madonna, even maybe even share, but Lady Gaga. Nope. That's the answer. Um, I don't know. Okay. The Venus de Milo is a statue missing which part of the body? The Venus de Milo is a statue missing which part of the body? What I got? Mm. The right arm, the arms. Yeah, we'll go with uh, Blue Spooky got arms. JJ, Beck, you got it. Close enough. Sydney, Speed, Steven, Beck, Liz. Oh, and JJ wants that ass. He wants him to back that ass up with no arms. You're a sick puppy. What if he falls down and breaks his hip? Good thinking about yourself. That's an easy one. Ray Charles was famous for playing which instrument? Ray Charles was famous for playing which instrument? That ass. You play that ass. That's it. No, I fucked that one up. I knew better. 
Oh, we got JJ Spooky Beck Speed Liz, all with piano. Nice. And if anybody falls behind, yeah, trying to do a few more and then. What biological order do frogs belong to? Now, this is the softball. What biological order do frogs belong to? Add heroin syringe. No syringe. Saxophone. That man got laid so much. There we go. Beck. And spooky. Amphibians. And we'll give the dinosaur to, 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 to speed because... He just thinks frogs are big dinosaurs. Okay. Okay, this is an easy one. I'm hoping. Pickles start out as which vegetable? Pickles start out as which vegetable? The reptile order. Amphibians makes total sense. Cucumbers. We got JJ, Spooky, Liz, Steven, all with cucumbers on their mind or their plate. And we'll leave it there. Watermelon. Speed. He got it. What month was Julius Caesar stabbed in? What month was Julius Caesar stabbed in? The Ides of something in order. Pick the watermelon to pick the watermelon. Ooh, that sounds oct no, no, no. March. Liz got it. Oh, actually, Spooky got it first. Then Liz. The Ides of March is when he was killed. Assassinated. I was there. I know. All right, who painted the Mona Lisa? Who painted who did painted the, the Mona Lisa? The Mona Lisa, you really can can pick a watermelon rind. My mom used to okay, mom. Leonardo da Vinci Da Vinci man did it. The Da Vinci. Okay, let's see how you guys are. One, two, three, four, five. All five are listed. Okay. What are the Great Lakes by name? Name the Great Lakes and see how many you can name out of five. Oh, this could be even harder. Oh, God, I just put myself. I can't remember. Oh, I know these. What do I have to? Okay. What are the five Great Lakes? Lakes, Haran, Ontario, Erie. Ooh, oh, wait, wait, Ontario. Oh, there we go. JJ, I know, got all five of them finally. Spooky, Speed, Beck, Liz. Making sure, yep. Yeah. And Sydney, noise. Yeah, I've seen where was it? Uh, not Da Vinci. Da, 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 da. Oh, JJ, we was having trouble with that last one. Bingo, got it. Whoop. Yeah, I'm not liking these ones too much. What is your body's largest organ? Not what you think is the largest organ, but what truly is your body's largest organ. Disappears if you're happy. The big one. To cheat off a bag. 
The skin is correct. JJ, Spooky, Beck, Sydney, Speed, Liz, Steven, and Beck. Literally, your skin. Bingo. Noise, 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 noise. Uh, we don't care about that. How many bones do sharks have? How many bones do sharks have? JJ with none. Spooky with none. Sydney with zero. Beck with zero. Stephen up with none. Liz with a thousand. I'm going with Liz just because. Just because. But don't tell Liz. The correct answer is zero. Did they? They're marshmallow animals. That's why they're so grumpy with their teeth. Mama, mama, mama said. Okay. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? Who was the first woman woman to win a Nobel Prize? Marie Curie, Sydney. Damn, you go, boys. The science lady. That would be Mrs. Bill Nye, the science girl. Screw Mother Teresa. Uh, bad. Yeah. Nope, according to this, I'm going to see if it's got. A, no, I don't even have a freaking date on it. Just, yeah, who was the first woman to win it? Madam Curie. Actually, I think I can get a little information if I click that button. Try to see what she wanted in. Damn, I guess she's holds the record on. Damn, that's a curious or curious. That'd be a good research thing. Yeah. Well, that's not the one. I, damn it. Damn it. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. How many wisdom teeth does the average adult have? How many wisdom teeth does the average adult have? Oh, I keep it. Four is correct. Spooky, JJ, Sydney, Liz. In Kentucky, it's only two. And that's only if you're lucky enough to inherit grandma's teeth. Speed, you got to clarify. You can't just give these people hope. <laughs> yeah, I got my grandma's teeth. Literally, I inherited them. <laughs> they never got them. Who discovered penicillin? And don't say the first person that ever had syphilis. Who discovered penicillin? Oh, God. Fleming is correct. Nice, spooky. Lewis, what's your, close enough, JJ? Lewis Fleming, you know, Alexander Fleming, it's all the same. John Penicillin, you know, we're, we're pretty casual around here. So, yeah. Fleming, Ian, <laughs> Ian Fleming's brother, that's it. One was a scientist, one was a writer. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, ee, 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 ooh. How many oceans are there on Earth? How many oceans are there on Earth? And I would have got this one wrong. Four. 
four, five is the correct answer. I would have guessed seven. I thought that the seven C's, but five's the correct answer. And let me click on this and see why. I guess C's aren't oceans. Oh, so it's just the oceans. We've got the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic, Pacific, I can't even, Antarctic, I guess. Can't, Antarctic. Wait, 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 wait. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and most, however, most countries, including the United States, now recognize the southern Antarctic as the fifth ocean. There you go. There's your five oceans. Not the seven seas, I guess. How many people have walked on the moon? How many people have walked on the moon? Not, not crashed, not landed on its side, but have actually walked on the moon. Twelve is correct, spooky. Making sure if all the numbers are the other one. <laughs> JJ's in, in revolt. There's not five. There's only four, damn it. And I'm not giving up on the uh, Antarctic Ocean. I only recognize three. It doesn't matter. It's a flat Earth anyway, JJ. It's all one ocean. Duh. I don't know what Bible you read, buddy. Okay. In what country could you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa? In what country could you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Pistronomy. JJ with the Italiano. Sydney with the Italiano. Oh, look, Miss, oh, Spooky and Liz got it too, and Stefan, Stephen. Oh, yeah, hey. Guys, is, I'm just kicking back, relaxing, and all of a sudden you guys get into Let's get the big guy. Okay. Does eggplant grow on a bush or a tree? Huh? Does eggplant grow on a bush or a tree? Now, this one I'll have to look up because Italy, Italy, Mushroom Kingdom. I do you mean? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Unless they've got different eggplant than we got. Oh, get, no thanks. I don't want that. There we go. I'm trying to read about this. Okay, maybe let's go with it. What's everybody say? See, this is what I don't get. I would have said a vine because it's like pumpkins and squash, and because we've had them in our, we've grown them in our garden before. So I could see them being maybe a bush, but they're saying a tree. That's what I'm trying to read. Because the answer says, um, what did I say? Does eggplant grow on a bush or a tree? And the answer is tree. And I clicked on the tree, trying to read about it, because usually it's a plant. Raised bed. Unless when, no. Oh, well, I don't, I don't get it. But A vine-shaped tree. It's got to be. We're doing trees. So unless once it stands up and it does this little, even cucumbers do it, I guess. I'd have to look that up. They're vine. Unless they're going to say that's a tree, too. Uh, Where
What classic cartoon gang is a group of five? Four plus one dog. What classic cartoon gang is a group of five? Four plus one dog. And technically, you can have a puppy in there, too. Scooby-Doo is correct in the mystery machine. Noise. Okay. We're getting windy down here. Let's see. What is a major difference between amphibians and reptiles? Oh, that's a simple one. Okay. What is the major difference between amphibians and reptiles? Nub has more, more to do with breeding, kind of. I mean, it is, but reproduction. We'll go that way. What? What do most, how do most reptiles reproduce? I mean, other than, you know, like birds and the bees, they fall in love and they, they, they get married and then they have the eggs. There you go. Reptiles lay, lay hard, hard shelled eggs. Let me I'll just read it. What is the difference between amphibians and reptiles? Reptiles have hard shelled eggs and amphibians do not. Correct, Mundo. Uh, how many legs does a crab have? I have no clue. How many legs does a crab have? A little more than, than eight. Ten. There you go. JJ, then uh, Beck was right behind him, right on your ass, matter of fact. On the 10, I, I would have no idea. I would have guessed eight ish. I think it's like a spider thing. But the correct answer is 10. Gosh, how many more of these have we got? I'm trying to finish this page out and then. Uh, maybe we won't finish the page out, but do a few more still. Uh uh, uh uh, uh. Or just go through. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, give me a good question. Which country is a Peppa pig from? What's a Peppa? Which country is a Peppa pig from? I've never heard of these things. At least not by this name. A Peppa, Peppa pig. England is correct. But what, what, what's a Peppa pig? by the chance. Does anybody know the quick answer? Or is it just a type of pig that happened to be from England or UK or whatever they said it is? The UK. Oh, it's a cartoon pig. All right. Makes sense. Okay, here we go. Here's the debate. Is hollow pep or jalapeno pepper a fruit or a vegetable? Is a jalapeno pepper a fruit or a vegetable? And the correct answer is fruit. So JJ, Spooky, and Beck, and anybody else that follows behind, nice. Figured at least one person would have said vegetable. Ha 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 ha. Okay, how many Canadian providences are there? How many Canadian providen providences providences are there? However, you pronounce the plural of province. 
providences. I guess I shouldn't know. Oh, you're almost there, Beck. You were almost there. You're a little short. Oh. 684 divided by 4. Carry the 7. Beck was the closest with 9. The correct answer would be 10. 10, 10 providences. And don't ask me. To, I guess I could if I had to. If anybody, I think I can click on that. That's one thing I like about this when I can get answers to shit. Um, oh, when was the Chia Pet invented? When was the Chia Pet invented? I'm trying to. 10. Yes, 10 of them, JJ. When was the Chia Pet Ch -ch -ch Chia Pet invented? <clears throat> 19 years, he says. Little later in the 80s, <clears throat> close enough, it was in 1981 was the Chia Pet invented. Did you? How many times has the Wizard of Oz been remade? I did not know this. And seeing this number, I did not know this. How many times has the Wizard of Oz been remade? I mean, I know the Wiz, and there's another one that they did. Nope. Keep going. Double digits. It's actually double digits the, the numbers of times it's been remade according to this. And I may click on this one to see if it lists them. Oh, it has the original cast too. There's more than one version. Oh, well, they do list out of them. I ain't listed them all, but uh, the correct answer is, oh, 17 is close. I believe it's 18. Let me double check. 18 times it's been remade. Well, you also probably, uh, I would figure that they would include Broadway because it was on Broadway several times. Can you play Pink Floyd over the others? I can play Pink Floyd anywhere, any how and way I want, because I like it. Yes, she turned into Alice in Wonderland, if that helps. What well, didn't say it had to be a movie? It said a remake. Let me double check. How many times has the? Am I gonna have to go back? Okay, we're gonna go back and look. Which I don't think it includes Broadway, but remains one of the most beloved. Virtual character. The Dorothy. The Wizard of Oz is getting a remake in February of two thousand and twenty-one. New Line Cinema announced that they were in the process of remake, remaking it. Um, the reboot. Well, it may seem that The Wizard of Oz is completely untouchable. This won't be the first time someone has tried to give a fresh take on the story. In fact, 39 was far from the first take on, or even before then, I guess. 1978 was The Wizard of Oz, got a facelift in the form of The Wiz with Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. Um, there have been 17 takes on The Wizard of Oz in total since the first the story first emerged in 1900 with the most recent recognizable outing being 2013's Oz the Great and Powerful starring James Franco and Miley Kunis, and of course the Smash, thank you, the Smash Broadway musical Wicked 
is beloved. So it did count. Thank you. Don't doubt. I'm the judge. <laughs> oh, it doesn't count. Are we going to get into a theist debate about this? <laughs> we want to recount. You want to recount what you want. I don't come up with the answers. I just, yeah. Okay, what is I'm trying to find what is the hottest pepper in the world? What is the hottest pepper in the world? Yes, I like my peppers. Boo. Am I gonna have to get security in here, people? The California Carolina Reaper is correct. That's some big hop. Uh, 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 uh. Why the pH thing? I'm trying to get this very last page. Um, we did that one before. Oh, what type of eater is a rhinoceros? This is this. What type of eater is a rhino? Pepper pots, throws chairs. Good call, Sydney. Pepper pots. Herbivores. There you go. Uh, I don't care about them. Okay, this I got to see who knows what because I would have never guessed known these. What are the names of the Spice Girls? And if it helps, there's five of them. And I know a few of them, but I would have never got them all. What are the names of the Spice Girls? You're supposed to be in bed. You keep this up, you're going to nursing home. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, spite, scary baby ginger posh. There you damn JJ. I bet you can tell me who the Backstreet Boys are too, right? The Peppa, Salt and Peppa. Okay, what do we get? That's one thirty-eight. Oh come on, two hundred. Well, we're still going. Fuck. Okay. Let me find three more and then I'm gonna shut it down. But I, oh, I just lost my spot. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm not. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Back in the game. Don't know. Oh, the Golden Girls. What is the hottest planet in our solar system? That's going to be a hard one to figure out. Yeah, I, I did not ever. Venus is the correct answer. It would be the closest to the sun. What color are the Teletubbies? I know everybody's just dying to know this one. What color are the Teletubbies? Weed, Saturn, Venus, Venus, weed, skanks, unicorns. I look like I'm laying down. No, I can't see. I don't want to scoot up. Oh, wait, I guess I could better look. Okay. okay, there's a purple one. Purple, green, red, yellow. Purple, green. How do you got five? Two, four. He's got seven. One, two, three, four, five. No, six. Two, four, five. 
six. It's four colors. You've got six. We got purple. Okay, somebody's got him in there somewhere. But Beck got it. Yeah, we'll go with that answer. Two, four, because he's got two, four, five, two. <laughs> okay. Last one. Let me see. Just do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, we get to get the first. Okay, this is the one I'm going to end it on then, because we did just about every other one, I think. What is the first astro astrological sign in the zodiac? Ugh. What is the first astro astrological sign in the zodiac? That the zodiac. It starts with an A. Yay. Tinky Winky had a triangle on her head and Beck instead. Aries is the correct answer. Alfredo. Yeah, I got to look for some different questions. Was it? I didn't think I did the first one because I was trying to find one that was the first. I know we did the second, but we'll start on the first, end with the first. Danger construction head. And how in the hell can you remember that? That's like almost three hours ago. I don't remember 10 minutes ago. I'm just going to remember to take my pills. Anyway, anybody has a question that they want to ask? Or are we just going to shut it down and say, see you guys? What, Monday? Not Monday. Sunday for sure. Oh, I enjoy it. That's why it's hard for me to qu quit. And I swore I was going to start stopping at like 11, 11, 15. I was thinking, okay, do 11, do the the drawing, and then do a few more, then go. And here it is almost midnight, but I got to take some medicine, get rid of this stuffiness. I would be miserable. No, thank you guys. You guys make this all possible and fun for me. Or I, I sure wouldn't sit here and do this if, it, if I wasn't enjoying it. And I'm learning stuff like how to count to three. Okay. With that being said, thank you. And don't forget, uh, we will be here Sunday at 2 p.m. with some guy that's in here now, I think. I mean, some like Beck person, I thought. Oh, it is. I'll make a double sure. Yeah, the seventh. I'd be back. Come see back with us on Sunday. Um, I know there's something going on Monday also, <clears throat> uh, but I can't remember what that deal was. No. Beck is, he's somebody then doing something too. Yeah, 2 p.m. Eastern. Ah, 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 ah. Hold on, I'm trying to see who's going to be here for the Monday panel thingy, and I forgot what the hell. Oh, I'll do this. Give me one second, and or just leave me. Just leave me. It makes me cry. Okay, the Kentucky Atheist. I know he just put a bunch of foo-foo nails in. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Go live, live, live. He does. You get to see all these friggin' little thingies. Okay, Beck is Monday or er, Sunday. Oh, clip of the week members response video will be um, Monday, and then trivia once again on Thursday of this week. And then we'll have JL from Bridge to the Divide the fourteenth, and we'll just leave it there for now. So yeah, definitely come check out. Beck, he will be here hanging out, making us laugh and yelling at me for saying dumb stuff. But thanks for coming. Uh, see you all soon and be safe. And don't stick your peckers on Carolina Reapers. A friend told me they burn pieces and deuces. <laughs>